title of this message is All Things Are Possible to Him or Her That Believes. All things are possible to the believer. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. That word world is more than people. It's his creation, cosmos. He so loved all that he created that he gave his only begotten son. Now take note of words. For God so loved the world. You included there. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever. That word whosoever is a powerful word. Because whosoever is you. Whosoever is me. That whosoever believeth in him. So whosoever has no exclusions. Anyone qualifies to believe. That's why all things are possible to him that believes. So all things are possible to whosoever. Don't ever let the devil rob you and make you think that it's not for you. It's just for others. It is for the whosoever that believeth. Whosoever believeth in him should not perish. He should not die prematurely. He should not experience defeat. Now take note of the words. Should not. doesn't say will not. It says should not. Because it's, it's conditional to believing. <laughs> you got to believe. And that's what we're teaching you about this morning. Faith. All things are possible to him that believeth. For God so loved the world that he gave. God has given his son. His only begotten son. That whosoever. You included there. But it says should not perish. You got to do it right. If you do it right. It will be will not perish. But God put should not perish there. Because when you do perish and you do suffer defeat, you cannot blame God. It's on your side. You did not believe properly and you did not exercise your faith properly. Should not perish, but have everlasting life. So you see, when you believe, you have. So believing is having. Believing is having. When you truly believe, you have, and here you have everlasting life. That is the Zoe life of God. That is the life that makes God God. In other words, when Jesus, when God gave Jesus, he was giving his life to you. Now, no one can give more than their life. When God gave his life, eternal life, he gave everything to you. He so loved you that he gave, the Father gave himself to you through his Son. Let's recap what we said last week. The scripture is Mark 11, 23. There's a whosoever again there. We didn't touch on that whosoever. But I want the Holy Spirit to indelibly write on your heart this morning that whosoever is me. Say that whosoever is me. Say, I will not be denied. I'm a believer, I'm not a doubter, and I have. Believing is having. Powerful, powerful. You must know that when you say, I believe, you have what God said. So, for verily or truly I say unto you, there is that word, whosoever. Jesus is teaching on faith. Whosoever is me. Whosoever is you, you included there. But you're going to have to include yourself. The door is open for you, but you're going to have to include yourself. That whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe, believe, you shall believe, that those things which you speak, you must believe that the things you speak shall come to pass. You shall have whatsoever you say. God wants you to know that anything outside the will of God is not for you. You can speak to the tree to dry up. Don't touch it. It's not worth it. It'll kill you. It's darkness. And any mountain, any stumbling block 
that's stopping you from fulfilling your destiny. You can remove it. So that's what whosoever means. So whosoever believeth in him. You, sh you shall not doubt but shall believe that those things which you say shall come to pass. From verse 24, Matthew 19. And again I say unto you it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, say, saying, who then can be saved? But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with men this is impossible. In other words, this was spoken to a young a rich ruler who had put money before God. And, and, and so Jesus was teaching that you cannot inherit the kingdom of God if you trust riches and make riches your God. And so the disciples mis were misunderstanding this and then said, who then can be saved? But Jesus said so powerfully, with men this is impossible. But with God, he just adds in there, all things are possible. Isn't that amazing? Not only money issues, but with God, all things are possible. Say that with me. Say, with God, all things are possible. Say, I am living in the possibility zone. Yes, with God, all things are possible. Then in Luke chapter 1, verse 37 to verse 38, Luke chapter 1 verse 37 to verse 38 and this was the angel uh, speaking to Mary and when and the angel came and said to Mary that you're going to conceive and bring forth a child and she was the angel was preparing Mary for the birth of Jesus and she was engaged to Joseph she was a virgin and she couldn't understand how this can happen and the angel said for with God nothing shall be impossible let's say it together for with God nothing shall be impossible say it again for with God nothing shall be impossible third time for with God nothing shall be impossible it's powerful but, but with God all things are possible with God nothing shall be impossible so you must take, when you get to with God, you must take the impossibilities out of your vocabulary because all things are possible.